So, I'm a kleptomaniac. Like, a for real one. Not like, whoops, I stole a pen one time from Sandy's desk. Whoa, I'm such a klepto. Nope. I have a legit diagnosis and everything. I steal stuff. It's sort of what I do. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. It's not because I get any kind of rush from it or because I can't afford what I'm stealing. It's just because I want to. No, scratch that, because I need to. So, yeah. My therapist was not super excited for me to go on this cruise, but I was all like, whatever, what do you know about my life, man? And he was like, literally everything. And I was like, good point. But I decided to go anyways, because I thought I could handle it. And then the first night here, I stole 13 forks, three spoons, a bottle of sunscreen, and this crummy watch that's either super expensive or from Walmart. I can't tell and I really don't care. <laughs> Does it make me feel any better? No. Stop asking stupid questions. You're clearly missing the entire point of mental health. And then we heard about the quarantine. Like, the announcement over the loudspeakers. The meeting we all had to go to. It was super weird. Like, we were hearing about the super contagious disease while we were all packed in together like sardines. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I stole some lady's magazine while she was talking to her husband about their kids. I guess they had like four and they were worried about them, I guess. And I guess I thought it wasn't that big of a deal until we all got masks and gloves. And we weren't allowed to leave our rooms and people were crying and calling their families and stuff. And I was like, well, crap. And I opened my dresser drawer and saw the stolen junk I had. And I was like, what am I doing? So I texted my therapist and I was like, I'm in a weird situation. I'm going to return stuff to people. And he was like, that's really good, Alex. And I was like, I don't know. For a moment I felt a sense of relief, I guess. It's because I steal stuff as a compulsion and it never makes me feel any better, but the prospect of returning it made me feel, I don't know. Happy's not the right word. Calm is better. And I never feel calm. So I returned everything, but nobody knows I did it. So I, like, reverse stole it, <laughs> and probably nobody cares, but I do. And if I can make things better by returning all this random junk, then I guess I did something good. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna talk to my therapist about this, provided I don't have coronavirus and keel over and die in three minutes. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Or not. I'm not really kidding at all. So. Yeah. That's it.